Pakistan cricket at its best. One minute down, next minute up. Thank you very much, everybody, for joining me once again. He started as a pace bowler, but he's now become a batsman who uh, bowls a bit of leg spin as well. Um, he's impressed in uh, UK cricket. Um, he's played for second eleven teams, and recently he's been playing for Worcestershire. Um, he's played in the KPL under yeah. Shire the Freedy, and he's just recently signed a three-year deal with Worcestershire. Very warm well, welcome to Kashif Ali. Kashif, thanks very much for your time. No, thank you. Kashif, um, your background is interesting. Um, you you came to the UK at the age of eleven. Um, was that your family moving to the UK? Was it from Pakistan? Yeah, I've had uh, quite a lot of family in the UK, like my aunties, my uncles. Uh, my dad was um, um, in the UK as well, so we just moved here. And originally, when you got into cricket, you were a fast bowler, and now you've become an accomplished batsman. That's a big change. What happened? Well, um, I was never a batsman. Um, I've had the buying abilities, but obviously... As a young cricketer, when I was playing with my mates, we used to play a lot of park cricket. I remember playing in, in Luton. Um, there was a park near my house where me and my, my few of my mates, uh, we used to play wind ball cricket. Um, and um, I just used to bowl all day because uh, I loved bowling. Um, and then one of my friends who was already at the club uh, called Dunstable Town Cricket Club, um, he was part of the club, obviously he used to play regular um hardball cricket. Um he's uh, he asked me to join his club. Um no he said um if I if I wanna come to the hardball uh, net net practice and I said yeah why not because I I, I want to play cricket because I quite like it. Um and then I remember him taking me uh to his net practice and there was like first team captain, second team, third team captain and they saw me bowl in the net and um um one of the i think third team captain he said do you want to play a match on saturday and then i said yeah why not um and then that's how it started i think i bowled for first two three years like i used to open the bowling uh bowled quite a lot uh and then obviously i think it was my third year where, where, when i got injured i had like uh, two stress fractures uh, and then one of my coach, whose name was Bradley Matthew, at that time he was first team captain, and he was my I think under eighteen uh, coach for Bedfordshire. He said, um, uh, "Why don't you start batting? Because I can see that you can bat as well. There's something there." And then he was the one. He was the reason when I started batting. And he helped me quite a lot as well um, with it. And uh, that's how I started buying. And I remember playing for Bedfordshire under 18, the first time where I got third ball duck in my first game. And then second game, I think I scored 150. And that's how he, yeah, that's how it kicked on for me. And since then, I've been buying, to be it's honest. It's an interesting with journey, really, Gashi, because you've played for Essex and Kent second 11s. You've played for MCC Young Cricketers. But it wasn't <clears> until, really, you, you joined uh, SACA, S-A-C-A, the South Asian Cricket Academy, where um, you got noticed uh, quite a lot, didn't you? Yeah, Um. well, I was over in Pakistan when um, I heard about KPL trials, Kashmir Premier League. So I think I remember it was next morning, it was KPL trials. And I think a, a night, a day before, I was in Lahore. Um, I've had a call from my mate. He said, um, have you heard have, have you heard about KPL trials? Because I didn't know nothing about it. And he he, he rang me. He said, there's trials at Amazon for uh, Mirpur Stadium. You should go and give it uh, give a trial because it's for it's for all the local Kashmiri uh, boys and so I went uh, I think on the same night I travelled to Mirpur stayed in a hotel and the next morning I went <clears throat> obviously I gave trials and um, I think coaches that were there they were quite impressed 
and I think they wrote my name down and um, they put me in the draft and um, they asked for my videos of bowling batting. I'll send them through and I think that's when uh, Ravla Kodhoks picked me in the draft. And then I've had really good KPL where I scored, I think, um, 114. We won the game, which we were chasing 240. Um, and then my name started going around. And um, obviously, Saka, who uh, was new to the scene, the South Asian Cricket Association, and so they saw my highlights. And they've, they've seen that I've been trialling around quite a lot. I've 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 had decent performances for the second teams that I've tried for but never got signed. So um I think uh, Tom Brown, who's um who runs Saka, he's had a look at my record previously and my KPL innings. He's asked uh, me to come join Saka, train with them. Obviously, I'll play a lot of games against second teams, and if I impress, obviously, Cams are gonna ask me to trial for them. Um, and then Kadi Ali, who's a Worcestershire assistant, bank uh, assistant coach, he's seen my videos and he's got in touch with uh, Tom Brown. So he said, um, I want a game involved, involved with Worcestershire. We'll give him um, a, a trial for one whole year. We'll play him. If he does well, obviously, we'll, we'll try to sign him. And that's where Saka got involved. Um, they've, they've supported me quite a lot. They helped me. Um, obviously, they help all the South Asian uh, talented cricketers who are who, who do well. If they do well, obviously, they get pushed. But they, Saka, obviously, then come in. They push them for counties, right? So that's what happened with me. Um, I think I remember when I tried for Worcestershire. I was trying for Worcestershire and North Ants after KPL when I came back to UK for the season. And uh, I was leading on scoring a four-day in T20, uh, like in England, in second eleven cricket. And then that's where the Wotashe offered me uh, a deal, uh, which was very um, uh, good news for me. Was... Regarding the KPL, you played under Shai the Freedy. Um, that must have been quite an interesting experience. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, there were lots of first-class cricketers, international cricketers. It was like a very... Like it was the biggest stage that I've ever played in, um, and obviously at the start it was, <clears throat> obviously I was a little nervous under the pressure, because uh, me first time around all the, those good players, big players who I used to watch on TV, um, but I've spoken to a few players there who were experienced old players about how to handle pressure and stuff like that. So um, I think once I got going, I've dealt with it quite well. Um, and it was massive learning, to be honest, uh, to move forward in my career, which helped quite a lot. You played alongside Azur Ali at Worcestershire. That must have been useful for you and uh, to have somebody like Azur there to, to guide you. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's been he's been Pakistan's captain for many years and um, his record obviously speaks for himself. Um he's done. Obviously, he's got so much experience um, of playing and of leading the team, obviously speaking to him about different things, about cricket, about mindset, is, you know, helpful for anyone, isn't it, really? Um, so, yeah, it, again, uh, massive learning for me. Um, I'll, well, I'll, I personally try to learn every day I can from anyone, really, uh, just by speaking to them. If I, if there's useful things that are, that are being said, I just take them in and try uh, apply them. And, uh, and recently, you've had the fantastic news of a uh, three-year contract with Worcestershire. That must be really pleasing for you. And I guess your story and your journey is um, heartwarming and an inspiration for young Asian cricketers in England looking for opportunities. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, it was, it was, it was the passion. It was like I always wanted to play uh, cricket. Uh, I I wanted to play at the highest level I can, and for that, if I if I wasn't gonna get offered anything in the UK where I tried quite a lot, um, I was always gonna go away and try, try out different um different leagues um, and try and play as much cricket as I can, 
um, to get um, out there, to get my name out there. Um, you know, it was like, I guess you can say it was hunger, it was passion um, that I always wanted to make this my uh, my career and long career. Now, as I say, you were born in Pakistan. You've been brought up in England. You've played most of your cricket here in England. You've played in the Kashmir Premier League. What is your current status then? Do you qualify as an English qualified player playing for Worcestershire then? Yeah, it's, I mean, I've been I've been British for many years. Um, um, I think I've I've moved out. I moved in to UK when I was I think nine or ten. Um, so I've been I've been yeah I've been local here since then to be honest. So the aim or one of the aims would be to play in the Pakistan Super League as an overseas player. Then that that must be something that's. Uh, on the radar in future? Well, to be honest, um, yeah, it is because uh, it's, it's quite a good a good standard cricket. It's quite a, uh, it's the highest league going around. Um, yeah, I mean, the aim is to play as many as many leagues as I can um, and obviously try uh, represent England at some stage, you know. But, um, my, my focus, my aim um is is to, to try and do as well as i can and obviously then things will be looked after if if my performances are good so um the aim is not too far ahead like i'm not worried about the future yet i'm still trying to focus on my on my present um and just take it day by day to be honest uh, like I said, if 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 I do well, if if I have decent performances in, then you know it's it's n- things are gonna be looked after. Um, about- a lot, as you can see, there's a lot of cricket going around. Um, so hopefully, yeah. We spoke about Saka and the great work that they're doing. You know, you're you're one of a number of players now, um, Asian cricketers, <clears throat> uh, who have got into county cricket. I mean, just just how valuable is their work? And, you know, those Asian cricketers <clears throat> feel that they won't get a chance in, in English county cricket. Something like Saka is, is a, a fantastic introduction, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, um, like I said, I, I've tried for, I think, four or five years. Um, and I, I've had decent performances in, but obviously no one, um, no one showed any interest whatsoever. Um but it was again maybe it wasn't the right time for me or like obviously we're Muslims, right? So we believe um we have obviously we got religion, we have faith. Um we believe that when it's right time, then it's right time, innit? Um so I, like I don't wanna go back and say oh people were unfair, they were this, they were that. Um even up until uh, today, yeah, I just think it was maybe not the right time for me. Uh, maybe this was the right time, um, and it was all building up to this. That's that's my belief, really. That's what that's why I believe in. That's what I think. But <clears throat> like you said, I think Saka is 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 an amazing platform for South Asian cricketers uh, to showcase their talent. Um, in front of county teams, uh, because because um, if like because Saka they play against all the different counties, right? So if a player does well against them and impresses them, obviously, uh, obviously they then they'll uh, get him trialing for the county, and then if he impresses them, and there will be something there. Um, so I think it's a, it's a great it's a great platform for all the all the Asian cricketers and the work I think they do behind the scenes, especially Tom Brown is it's amazing. Um, and I'm um, I'm always grateful. Um, I'll, I'll always be grateful to Saka, um, forced to Allah, um, and um, for for giving me this opportunity because this is I, I wanted this for a very long time. And I've I've tried like you know I've tried quite a lot, and then to get my contract to get uh, signed by a county was was like a dream come true for me. And 
recently, Usman Khan, who's a um, UAE-based cricketer, obviously he started his career in uh, in Pakistan. Um, he was given opportunities at UAE. Now he's turned his back on them and he said that he wants to play for Pakistan. I don't know if you've been following the story or not, but what, what do you make of that? Um, I don't really have much to say on that because I, I don't personally know him or I don't personally know his story. Uh, but I think he's 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 played in the PSO. He's done quite well, and then I think he's he was asked to play for uh he was asked to join Pakistan camp, if I'm right, uh to potentially be in Pakistan's squad for the World Cup or series, New Zealand series. So, um, well, like I said, I don't know his story. I don't know what, what happened in the past or what was discussed. But, you know, it's his decision, his choice. Um, whatever he thought it was right for him, I think he, he made he made that decision. And finally, Kashif, what are your future hopes? I mean, as you said, you take things one step at a time, but... Um... Playing for England, is that something that you dream about one day? Oh yeah, a hundred percent. I'm I'm sure every every player who's playing domestic cricket in England or in the playing domestic cricket for in their country, they hope and they dream to play for, for the country. And I think uh yeah, that's one of my goals, um, to to represent England. Um and obviously for that it's gonna take quite a lot of um, hard work, a lot of um performances and stuff, which, which I'm um um I'm working really really hard to, to to do that and to try and achieve it one day, inshallah. Well, Kashif, I really appreciate your time. Your story is a, a very interesting one, and um, I think it gives a lot of hope um for all those young Asian cricketers in the UK who dream of playing first class cricket. That um you know if you look at your example, it, it's there. And uh, as I say, I wish you all the best for the future. And who knows, maybe your dream of PSL uh, one day, uh, one day, and maybe playing for England one day might come true. But um, as I say, wish you all the best and uh, Inshallah. But, uh, good, good luck for the future. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate um, you inviting me for for a meeting for an interview. So thank you very much. You're welcome.